Hey you guys, what's up? It's Jodi Ann and today's video is one that you guys requested. I'm going to be using the got to be glued method to basically glue or secure my wig on like that. I'm not, I don't want to pull too fast now, but I saw Ming Lee do this on YouTube a couple months ago, so that's where I got like the technique and the inspiration from. The most important thing I was going for with this is like a realistic hairline. Like y'all know my forehead is big already, that's no secret. So I wanted it to like look just like my relaxed hair. I even so far as like pluck the hairline, I show you how to bleach your lace, all of that, and I show you guys how to apply the wig so this wig is from OMG Queen and I thank them for letting me experiment on the hair and I made sure it was super affordable too so this is like a 14 inch bob so it could be worn as a bob or you could just curl it or style it because it is 14 inches so definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and sign up for notifications so you'll never miss an upload from me and thumbs up if you like this video so without any further ado let's get to the video Alright guys, so I received the hair through FedEx. It also comes with a wig stand that you can store your wig on, as well as a wig cap. I have a dark brown set of wig caps. The wig is 150% density. It's a light yakky lace front. And this texture was a bit crimpy at first in my opinion, but after I washed it, it looks really soft and kind of textured like African American relaxed hair, or, or like a blowout or flat iron on natural hair. And the wig comes with two inches of a parting space. I know that's not a lot. It's not like a lace, a full lace frontal, but it will run you only about $100. So to customize my wig, I bleached the lace and then I reduced the density in the front by plucking the hairline. I use about a half a scoop of powder bleach and 30 volume developer and I gently tap it onto the lace. So yes, now we're talking. The lace looks more like my scalp now, so I go ahead and wash and condition the wig, and then I proceed to pluck the hairline. So here's a closer look at the wig. It looks fine, but my hair is definitely thinner around the hairline, and I want it to look more realistic once it's applied. Cause people can tell if like your hair is too thick around the edges, especially when you don't have thick hair. So yeah. Using a really sharp tweezer, I pluck the hairs in the thicker areas just to thin it out a little bit, especially around the hairline. Once you're comfortable plucking the hair from the lace, if you want to use a heavy duty tool, you can use a cuticle clipper. And FYI, when you pluck the hair, you'll see like those little white tips. That's just the bleach knots of the hair. Before I start gluing, I try the wig on and then I make like a faint mark where I don't want the wig to pass my forehead. I use the Got To Be Glued Ultra Glued Styling Gel and I apply like a base layer just to help my wig stay put. Then I glue my wig down in sections. So my first attempt is to apply a little bit of glue, hold the wig down, and then cold dry it into place. But that didn't really work, so I applied a little bit more glue. 
It took me three attempts to finally figure out that this method works best if I partially dry the gel before actually securing the wig down. Well, you can see that I'm definitely shocked that this even works. I think it's just a product that works so well without you having to use glue and just the technique in general. I apply the gel in sections. First I make it a little bit tacky by applying some cold air and then I put the wig on, hold it firmly in place while I apply more cool air with my blow dryer for like 30 seconds or so until the wig is secure. I also apply the freezing spray for extra security and then I tie my hair down and you guys, the wig literally does not move. So there is too much gel on my baby hairs so I went through off camera and I combed through them with like a like a wet comb so they would they wouldn't be so hard and stiff. For a little bit of extra volume I use a topic root volumizing spray and that really helped to give me a little bit of body in that oomph especially since I'm wearing straight hair it matches like my makeup and my outfit at the time so I really didn't want to curl it it would probably make me a little bit older. Also keep in mind that you will wash your face so the hair may have to be overdone until you're ready to wear it like the next morning or whenever. But I would definitely say though that number one, bleaching the lace and also making the hairline look realistic to my hair, how it actually looks, those two made the biggest difference. So this is the finished look you guys. What do you think about it? It's really not bad for my first time. I like that I didn't have to overdo it with the baby hairs and it still looks really natural. Next time I would leave more lace in the front so that the hair wouldn't get caught in the gel. So without a doubt, I'll definitely be using this technique again. So two thumbs up for me. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up as well. And if you guys want to check out my latest video, as well as my other wig videos, be sure to check those out. In the description, I'll have all the details, the wig specs, all of that. So be sure to check there. So until the next video, you guys, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you then. Bye. Girl, you go on in a medida Skin clean, she no bleach And she no wear wave She say she no one no residue Girl, princess, you should be